Hey everyone, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Today is Saturday and I decided that I'm going to take you along with me as I go out today. I have a couple of errands to run and I'm going to take you along with me. So I have to go to the bank and I need to, um, let's see what else I started to do. I'm going to go pick up my mom today and I'm going to take her and I'm going to go to a Goodwill that's over near her house and it is like the best Goodwill they have some awesome awesome deals there my hair is in my face awesome deals um, as far as like entertaining um, items and you know just like things for the house and um, yeah so I'm gonna do that and I'm probably stop by home goods and I need to go by the Dollar Tree and that is it so I'm gonna take you along with me and I hope you um, maybe you'll see something that you like and um, maybe I'll find some things I like so here we go okay so um, one place that I need to go is I need more to happened go. now it's stable save up to two hundred and twenty dollars all right there's this new natural hair salon that is um around the corner from me and I want to go and check her out um I've been natural now for this time it has been like nine years prior to us moving here from Los Angeles I have been natural for 16 years and when I came back home to Atlanta it was really hard for me to find someone to do my hair and so um, in California I didn't have a perm I didn't need a perm because it, it doesn't get humid like it does here and I sweat in my hair so um, let me back out and so it was like I used to get my hair um, flat ironed and, and and it would last me the entire month. Well here, when I first moved back home, everyone wanted to put a perm in my head. And I did do it because I just got so sick and tired of sweating in my hair and having to press it all the time that I just gave in to it and I hated it. Hated. I got my hair cut and everything, you know, and oh, I love the haircut, but you know, when you get your hair cut short, you know, you have to maintain that and that became very, very expensive. So, you know, I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to go natural um, all over again. So I let some of the perm grow out and then I cut it and I was doing really, really well. And then I started getting gray hairs. And so then I began to dye my hair. And so that damaged it. really dried it out. And regardless of what I did at one time, it just wasn't working for me. And so then um, I tried some different products. And I love the um, beautiful textures as well as Shea Moisture. So I used those. But then, you know, I think your hair becomes like used to different products and it doesn't work as well as it um, did when I first began to use it and so um, now I just use um, beautiful textures on it and so like for the past three weeks I washed it and I've had it um, flat iron and at this, at this point I'm just really tired of dealing with because right now is the time that I would like to have it flat iron so like anyway long story short I'm gonna go and try and see this new salon so it says natural hair and um, that they do natural hair and just because they say they do natural hair doesn't mean that they do natural hair so I'm gonna ask her some questions and see what she has to say and see who she has in her chair and see where her hair looks like um, before I even decide if I want to come here and not so like I said it's just really around the corner from me so I'm gonna run in here right quick and I'll let you know um, 
what I see and what I think. All right. Okay, guys. So I'm here at the Goodwill. It's the one I'm always telling you guys that I come to. One over by my mom. Mm. Those are high. Let's see what else they have. Look, that's a s'mores maker. Oh, that's cute. S'mores maker. The color is yellow. That is really cute. Hmm. Let's see what else we have over here. This. And napkins. Napkins. One, two, three, four, five. That's six. For two dollars. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's six for two dollars and ninety-two cents. Now what else is over here? Oh, now that's nice. I feel vodka. Eight. 98. The, the color of the day is the weakest blue. Most of this stuff is yellow. Three ninety three is for three of those. These are nice for like ice cream sundaes. Four ninety four. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's on the other side. I don't see anything. Now these are cute. They're a dollar and ninety one cents. Oh, they have writing on them. Bailey's. Mm. I really don't see anything great today. <laughs> Nothing that I feel like I just have to have. Over 
you guys so I think that's all in here I'm not seeing anything that I want or have to have in here so we'll go on to the next door Hey guys, so we've made it to my local shopping area over here, and um, we have a lot to choose from. But I'm gonna start with Target um, right now since we just came into the entrance. And when I leave, I'm probably gonna go out the back entrance because I just realized I needed to go by Michaels, and that's on. Um, up further so um yeah, let me get right here so we'll run in here to this target i just really just need to go to the dollar spot and see what they have in there there's one thing in particular that i'm looking for i need some more chalkboards um labels so hopefully they have them there and i can run in and run back out all right Okay, so we're leaving Target. I went into Marshalls to see if they had anything I needed or I wanted in there. And that wasn't anything. But I do know that I need to go by um, Bed Bath & Beyond over here because I need some more of those, um, the candle, the candle cubes. And I'm going to run into the TJ Maxx right here um, also. Um, I really like those candle cubes. Now, the thing that I am realizing that I don't like about them, that, yeah, the fragrance lasts for about 
two to three hours and then you have to use another cube so I'm not liking that but I think they're like really great for like when you have people coming over and you know you just want to freshen up the place a little bit I think I'll park here in the middle of both and um, I think they're great for that and you know I, I like I like them and I like the fact that they're a whole lot less expensive than it would be for me to buy a bunch of wildflowers like I normally do and I, I, I probably will go to um, Bath and Body Works I have coupons for them I need to check and hopefully see if I brought them with me um sorry my bath and bed bath and beyond and if so I might get something I love the island margarita um candle and the fragrance at um bath and body works I think I'll park over there and um last year when they brought it out like two years ago I went crazy over that that scent loved it anytime anyone would come into my house it was like oh my goodness it smells so good and so last year I purchased it and then I should have bought more than one and so now I'm out of that candle and so I'm gonna see what else I can get hopefully they'll have I can catch one of the deals where they have the um, two for what the two for twenty two dollars so when they have that promotion I usually buy three candles and have my ten dollars off coupon so I get three candles for twenty three dollars so hopefully um, that will be coming up soon I'm gonna run in there and see what they have going but if I don't have my coupons I'm not gonna get anything today so um, like I said I'm gonna go into TJ Maxx and first but first I'm gonna go into Bed Bath & Beyond and get those um, cubes that I wanted and I had a coupon that's on my phone and I'll use that 20% off coupon for that so um and then they also have like some clearance things going on so hopefully I'll find something in there okay guys so I have been all over the place and instead of just taking you everywhere I went because I didn't buy and most of the places that I went to I didn't buy anything I just left Aldi's and I'll do a Aldi's haul for the week that um for our meals for the week and um, I am on my way now to Michael's and after Michael's I will be going home to start our Sunday dinner and to upload these videos and to really just chill out for the rest of the day I record it's a new cooking show that is on um, Food Network I don't remember her name. Uh, her name is Damaris something. And she today's, on today's episode, she was doing um, cooking, preparing for like a, a derby party for the Kentucky Derby. She's from Kentucky. And um, I recorded that episode because my mom, since I did her um, table for her tea party at her church, she wanted me to... Um, do her have her a tea party birthday party um like a birthday tea party or a birthday i don't know something something around like like a tea party or something but i don't think i'm gonna really do a tea party what i think i'm probably gonna have her is like a garden party so i want to get my patio together my mom's birthday is at the end of march isn't that funny and in five days later is my birthday so we're the same sign but um we act totally different but um so i want to do that so i think instead of like a derby party or whatever or a tea party i'm gonna have a garden party in the backyard so hopefully by then some of my flowers would have began to bloom and there's some things that i wanted to plant and um, it'll be late enough in the season where I can um, get some nice hanging baskets to put back there. So that's what I think I am going to do. I'm going to have a garden party for her birthday. 
and her birthday like I said it's like March 30th and if I'm not mistaken that's on a Saturday that's gonna be a busy weekend because Sunday Sunday I am going to the Lettucey concert I am I love Lettucey I, I saw her last year at Chastain Park and um, so we got my girlfriends and I got tickets for this year's concert um, and so we're going to go and see Lettucey on that Sunday. And I think that Monday I'm going to take off. I hope I don't have any events um, coming up that will come up. Right now my calendar is clear for that week at work. So I don't have anything. So I'll be able to take off that Monday to recoup from my weekend. So I'm going to go in here at Michael's. And if I get something I'll show you. But if not, this will probably just be the end of um, this video of my weekend. All of my running around this weekend. What's happening at Wani's house? A lot of running around. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video unless I um, buy something in Michael's. And actually, you know what? I want This will be the end of this video. And then I will... Um, this will be the end of this video. And... What I'm going to do is everything that I picked up over this past weekend, I'll do a haul on the little things that I've gotten. I got some good stuff, though. A lot of the things were things that I need and some things I just ran across. And um, I'm going to do our weekly, out, well, my Aldi's video, what I'm going to prepare for the week and things that I got from Aldi's. And um, I think that's it. I'm also preparing a video um, coming up in the next, hopefully I can get it together in the next week or so. Um, just a, a, like an entertaining essentials video, or something like that that I'm putting together. But anyway, I thank you guys. I love all of my subscribers, my old ones and my new ones. And I will see you in the next video. So like I always say, whenever you're in town, you can always stop by Winey's house. Bye guys.